Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm back on Black Ops for a little while. Played it yesterday. I'm rocking out with the uh, this last sniper rifle that you unlock or the, well, you buy it. And I put the ACOG site on it. I like to do that every now and again. It gives me a different dimension to the game. And my secondary is two pistols that I, I use it a little bit. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Today, I was cruising through the internet looking up at uh, various video game sites. And I came across an interesting article about Black Ops Sunny 2. Claymore. And I'm going to just... Go ahead and give a synopsis of it, and then I'm going to say my whatever, whatever. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 won't break sales records. Needs new console hardware. That was the title standing by. of the article. Our spy plane's in the air. And of course, when you see something that says Call of Duty anything, especially Black Ops 2, a game that hasn't been released yet, but it's very anticipated, it's going to gain attention. It got my attention. And for this person to say it's, it won't break sales records and needs new console hardware. Um, of course, there's no way of, of actually knowing how much a game will sell until it gets released. But in a game as big as Call We're of Duty... You kind of already know that the game is going to do numbers. I believe I said, I, I read something the other day that says that the pre-orders for Black Ops 2 have already surpassed the pre-orders for Modern Warfare 3. Those are just pre-orders. And let's say that 100% um, of those pre-orders get filled. Well, guess what? That game is going to beat Modern Warfare 3, which actually did a lot but I don't know whether Modern Warfare 3 did more than Black Ops, the first Black Ops. But what I'm saying is that you, you understand the trend that's going on here. Um, Black Ops broke a bunch of sales records. Modern Warfare 3 is still we selling good. It was sold good and still selling good. And Black Ops 2 will most likely trump the previous two Call of Duty games. I don't really understand where, where this guy who wrote this, uh, wrote this article is coming off by saying that. Um... Enemy spy and he didn't really, he didn't really add any sort of factual uh, evidence to Sticky back up out. his assumption. Um, I'm gonna put the link to this article in the description so you guys can check it out themselves. But uh, yourself, but like he says, he, he's just saying. Oh, uh, let me see Blanco here. Um, Activision is already uh, seeing high pre-order figures. Yeah. But the sales bar, the sales bar was set enormously high by the first Black Ops, and it says it sold over 25 million worldwide. Um, uh, does Black Ops 2 have a chance to break any records? Uh, analysts don't believe so. So this guy who who wrote the article is not. This isn't his personal opinion. He's saying that analysts, some unknown analysts, don't think so. Get ready. Uh, Target neutralized. This is this is really crazy. Like I don't I don't understand the logic behind this. Black Ops 2 and I'm a Call of Duty. I, I'm, I'm very critical on Call of Duty a lot of times in my videos because of its lackluster uh, Enemy care the way that it's put together and it, the subpar aspects of the game. But at the same time, I am uh, I take a realistic approach to Call of Duty as far as sales. I know the Enemy game is going to sell a lot, and I know. Black Ops 2 is going to sell. It's going to break sales records. I mean, come on. It's Call of Duty for crying out loud. And also, as far as them saying that the game needs new console, they're, they're saying that, uh, what is this? What is this? this? Some guy named Colin Sebastian, for crying out loud, says, I think games like Call of Duty need new console hardware. Developers are working with seven year old technology in an environment when. Tablets Stick and smart TVs will soon be just as powerful. I, look, you have to look at the games that are coming out right now. Okay? As long as you can still get a wow factor when you release a game, you don't need a new technology. 
and we're on the verge of the next gen of consoles anyway so if this holds up if if i mean i don't what, what does he expect activision and treyarch to do just not make a call of duty game this year and lose out on all that revenue and and the money that they would make by doing that just to wait out and wait for a new uh, era of consoles no they, they're gonna do exactly what they did the the team behind black ops 2 has already said look we've been working with this this engine it's not a new engine but we've done enough to make it look a lot better so what exactly do you want i mean they, they're kind of stuck in a situation to where look they're not going to come out with a new um console this year so let's do exactly what they did they remade the uh they reworked the engine that they have and they came out with a product that looks a lot better now if from what i've seen from the uh the the reveal video the game looks good better than black ops better than modern warfare 3 so that, that, that right there just makes that whole uh this whole quote right here from uh mr sebastian uh irrelevant Spy plane standing by. Uh, i don't i don't i saw this and i was like man this is crazy and i originally i was going to make a video explaining why i had to take down my black ops 2 reveal video and that was simply because Activision, uh, Tango yeah, down. they complained about it. Not a big deal. I got like 700 views off that video. I didn't the get the chance to monetize it. And I wasn't going to because of the, the, the nature of the video and how big it was. So, whatever. Things happen. It's a YouTube channel. You just gotta, you take some hits and you just roll with the punches. And that's what we did. But, yeah, Oscar I'm gonna put RCXD the link for this article area. in the uh, description so you can check it out. Um... Uh, this guy Sebastian really is sold on the the point that games like Black Ops 2 need Release new hardware and that the seven-year-old technology is somehow obsolete. Heads up, enemy RCXD spotted. Uh, I know, and a lot of other people who are in video games understand that even when game uh, companies like Sony and Microsoft introduce new technology, the old technology still stays relevant for a few years. You know, uh, so I don't, it's not like the companies are going to be like, ha, we got these new, these new consoles and then poof, all of the PS3s and Xbox 360s are going to magically disappear or like a team of men in black are going to come snatch them up. So even if the, the company comes out with a new console, you're still going to have to contend and work with the old technology. I think Treyarch is doing the right thing by remaking the engine and not worrying about dealing with a new engine right now. They will hold off and make a new engine for next-gen consoles. I, I'm guessing that just by the, the time, by the time the next Black Ops is uh, slated to come out, I guess two years from now. We'll most likely have a new gen of consoles. So, this article is weird. It caught my attention. I figured I'd speak on it and share my opinion with everybody. Drop me uh, a line and see what you think. Maybe you Fall agree with Sebastian. Uh, maybe you agree with the, the article in itself. Well, anyway, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. And I'm out.